Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today I want to talk about another vegan slogan. Vegans love to say, the only thing that I regret about veganism is not doing it earlier. Right? All of them say the same. At least as long as they still feel somewhat healthy. But guys, today I want to tell you the position of an ex-vegan. I would rewrite this slogan and I would say the only thing that I regret about veganism is not quitting earlier. That sums up my whole experience with veganism. Because in the beginning, you do feel great. It is the so-called honeymoon phase. You go through a cleansing period. And yes, this is the only thing that I will give the vegans. We will have to admit that it is a great fast. It is a fasting mimicking practice that can lead to good health outcomes short term. If you do it short term as a cleanse, you can capitalize on the health benefits. However, after a couple of weeks, possibly months, you will have to stop, otherwise you face malnutrition. Guys, I was so deep into this ideology that I didn't see the warning signs of my own body. Tooth decay, depression, digestive upset, diarrhea, anxiety, paranoia, bad sleep, and whatnot. The list goes on and on and on. I tried every remedy in the vegan book, no matter if I tried with a whole food plant-based approach or with supplementation, blood test, doctor visit after doctor visit, running from dentist to dentist and still no solution. How could there be a solution? No doctor knows how to cope with an artificially created diet. Doctors do not receive enough nutritional training. Hence they will tell you that veganism seems to be fine. Other doctors will tell you, no, it's maybe not the best way, but surely not as evil as we anti-vegans display it to be. But guys, when I say the only thing that I regret is not quitting earlier, I mean it. It absolutely wrecked my life. Many people reach out to me, many ex-vegans, and they all say the same. I wish I would have stopped earlier. Now I have probably permanent damage. And that is sad to see. Guys, the only reason why I can say I do not regret it, even though internally I always will, is because I run this YouTube channel. So hey, I sacrificed myself for the greater good. At least I can shine an example and warn others about this malnutrition. This is the position that I am in right now and I take that responsibility to warn others, to warn children, to warn teenagers, mothers and whatnot. You have a 90% dropout rate within veganism, 85% dropout in the first three years. The rest continues for a couple of more years before they drop out yet yet again. Hence you can see that pretty much everybody will be an ex-vegan. And if you look into the long-term vegans, you will see what kind of destruction those people went through. You don't want any of that. So hence, you are gonna be an ex-vegan. Mark my words, if you're listening to this video right now and you are a vegan, maybe one year, maybe two years, let it be three years, I do not care, you will come back to this video and say, sorry Bobby, you've been right all along. You are a future ex-vegan like everybody else. There is no doubt about it. A malnutritional regimen cannot be sustained by anybody. It is impossible. Possible. And then you end up here on the channel in the comment section like oh so many before you and you will say fuck I wish I would have done this earlier. I wish I would have incorporated those healthy animal foods earlier. I wish I would have stopped earlier. It is always the same but now you have the chance. Now you can still drop out before the nutritional deficiencies kick in. Guys I wrecked my health. I recovered tremendously on an animal-based diet, but there is still work to do. So many injuries. As a vegan, I tore my biceps, I tore my ACL. And as I said, whew, what is so impressive about that? That happens to many athletes. 
Yes, that might be true, but there was no healing whatsoever. Vegan collagen powders, vegan protein powders, vitamin B12 and whatnot. I took all the supplements. There was no healing whatsoever. A whole year of suffering through those injuries until I said I cannot take it any longer. I gave in, I ate the meat and what happened? After three days on the carnivore diet, whoopsie, I started healing. What an idiot I was. When I look back, I feel ashamed. However, it was a learning lesson. Now I want to spare you that learning lesson. The reason why we people write books, do YouTube videos, is so you don't have to go through the same amount of suffering. So you can learn from our mistakes. What a wonderful medium, all for you. But if you're stubborn, like yours truly, then you won't listen. Then you will fight for the cause of veganism because it is the right thing to do for the environment, for the animals, for my health. Complete bullshit. We talked about this so many times on this channel. If you want to be an environmentalist, then support rotational grazing, sustainable agriculture. That is for you. Super sustainable, super healthy which brings me to the health aspect if you want to be healthy you cannot be a vegan you will torture your body it is not your species specific diet no matter what the idiots on the internet tell you herbivores have you ever seen the digestive tract of a herbivore by no means are we herbivores and even the ethical aspect speaks against veganism how often do we have to repeat this until every vegan gets it i know it is an impossible endeavor but if you eat vegan you destroy whole habitats through your monocultures but the cattle they eat the grains too no grass fat that is the key word here those grains of course destroy habitats we are not for corn and soy fat cows grass fed beef a carnivorous diet you will kill less animals than a vegan coming back to the balkans coming back to macedonia where my roots are from seeing how those people eat in their natural habitat if you will makes you put things into perspective once i reflected upon christian orthodoxy which is practiced here in macedonia out of a sudden it opened my eyes believe it or not those guys go vegan twice per year ideally for 40 days each so 80 days in total they go vegan as a fasting practice for eastern and for christmas Everybody that has done it understands that it's not sustainable. I talked to my aunts, to my uncles, and everybody told me, why did you fast for four years straight? That doesn't make any logical sense. They don't know the term veganism. They call it fasting. Why, why did you fast for four years? 40 days is the absolute top. That is the maximum that anybody should fast. But those people experienced it. Those people understand how veganism, fasting, acts on your body. And they would never in hell go vegan because of that exact fasting period where they already saw that they are deteriorating and after that they are replenishing themselves through animal foods. Guys, this topic is really dear to my heart. I'm not your mother, I'm not your father. I cannot stop you with your pursuit. If you want to debunk me and you want to disprove me and you want to stay vegan, prove it to the world, you will suffer the consequences. And it's just sad to see teenagers, especially young kids, many young boys that are misled by so-called vegan bodybuilders just wasting their life away, making no gains whatsoever especially young athletes this is where my heart is at when i see that they're not progressing not in bodybuilding not in martial arts nothing you don't see vegans progressing in those sports the reason being malnourishment yet again please wake up from this cult please wake up and don't waste your years 
all right guys and this is it for today just a sit down video on a topic that i believe is truly important to understand if you like the video leave it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already please do so and guys if you want to support the channel all the links are in the description box below we have amazon links for you you can head over there buy whatever you might want to buy and it doesn't cost you anything extra we get a small share that is a fantastic way to support Bobby's perspective. If you want grass-fed beef delivered to your doorstep, butcher boxes for you. And we have CBD links as well. On top of that, guys, consider supporting Bobby's perspective through Subscribestar or Patreon. We have a VIP community there where we have Skype group calls every single week where we can discuss any topic, no matter if it is health, lifestyle or nutrition related on top of that by joining you straight away receive your comprehensive nutrition guide it is an ebook that teaches you the basics of nutrition but goes beyond as well and is catering to your personal goals no matter if you're keto primal paleo or even raw thank you very much for your support and as always much love and peace